giggles and tickles. It's our new friend. Come up and say hello. Whoa, it's slippery. Thank you. This is Tallulah. Hi, I'm Lucy. Nice to meet you. Well done, Lucy. You're quite a good climber. Thank you, but I did have a bit of help. It's always nice to have friends helping you. It is. Actually, all this talk of climbing reminds me of the story of Leopoldo the Lava. It was a fine morning in South America. Adam the Armadillo, Jazz the Jaguar, and Leopoldo the Llama met up in the usual spot. Okay, so what are we going to play today, amigos? Uh, I know! Let's play Roly Polies! <laughs> that is a great idea! <laughs> I love to play this game. All right, if everyone else wants to. Ha-ha! <laughs> this is so much fun! Wait for me! Let Jazz make the roly poly too! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Woo! Come on, Leopoldo! Leopoldo didn't really like playing roly polies. Oh dear! Roly polies make me dizzy! Whoa! <laughs> 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 The three friends played roly poly until they couldn't roll anymore. <laughs> and then it was time for another game. Someone else can choose what to play, because I chose last time. We could play. Uh... I know. Let's play. Stick to the cliff. Yeah, great idea, Jazz. You go first. <laughs> See? Easy. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Uh, I suppose so. Uh, ah. uh, hey. <laughs> Your turn, Leopoldo. Leopoldo didn't really like playing stick to the cliff, but he didn't want to disappoint Jazz and Adam. <laughs> <laughs> then, it was Leopoldo's turn to choose a game. Why is he looking over there? Yeah, it's time to choose a game, not look at mountains. Let's go and climb that mountain. But it's so high, it's got clouds round it. It can get very cold on mountains. <laughs> and jaguars don't like to be cold. It'll be fun! Leopoldo's friends didn't think climbing a mountain sounded much like fun. Uh, oh, I think I might go home now. Oh, yes, uh, me too. <laughs> it's not as steep as it looks. Hmm. It's not fair. I play their games. Why won't they play mine? Hi, Tallulah. Hi, Leopoldo. I don't suppose you'd like to climb a mountain today? Uh, sorry, Leopoldo. Busy, busy. This strange and interesting vine grew into my tree last night. I absolutely must find out where it's coming from. Oh. If no one else will go up the mountain, then I'll go on my own. Meanwhile... Adam was feeling bored. Hi, Tallulah. I don't suppose you've seen Leopoldo anywhere. I've changed my mind about playing with him. I think he said something about a mountain. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tallulah. Be careful now. That's a very big mountain. Hello, butterflies. Isn't this mountain beautiful? A prickly forest was blocking Leopoldo's path. Ouch! Uh, huh? Ouch! Help! 
Don't worry, Leopoldo. I'm trapped. No problem. Oh, thanks, Adam. Nice roly polying. I changed my mind about climbing the mountain. Can I still join you? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Of course you can. Back in the jungle, Jazz was looking for his friends. Adam! Leopoldo! I want to play! Hi, Tolula. Have you seen Adam and Leopoldo? Tolula? <sighs> I suppose they must have gone up the mountain. I'm going to go and look for them. to climb up there. Oh, we'll just have to turn back. No way, amigos. Jazz had a plan to help his friends. Remember, stick to the cliff. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> Got you! Thanks, Jazz. That's okay, Leopoldo. Thank you for letting me join in. Yoo-hoo! At last! This is where the strange and interesting vine ends. <laughs> I have to tell Adam and Jazz and Leopoldo. Oh. Only now did I realise that they had not returned. <sighs> Almost there. Wow. I'm so glad you both came with me. It wouldn't have been much fun on my own. Mountain climbing is the best game we've ever played! Oh, the only trouble is, going down a mountain isn't as much fun as going up it. Crap! What's that? Tallulah! Huh? Now it's time to play my game. Your game? Come on! Yoo-hoo! The four friends were safely back in the jungle. Everyone agreed this was the most fun we'd ever had. Because everyone joined in and we all helped each other. Thanks, Talila. That was a brilliant story. I'd like to go on an adventure one day with all my friends at the zoo. <laughs> that sounds like fun, Lucy. But I think we've had enough adventures for one day. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams, Lucy. There's someone here to see you. Oh? Who is it? It's a surprise visitor. You have to guess who it is. First, close your eyes. And now, have a feel. <laughs> <laughs> Little ears. <laughs> A woolly coat. <laughs> Big toes. Oh, hey, stop that. You're tickling me. I recognise that voice. It's Leopoldo the Llama. 
<laughs> well guessed, Lucy. Have you come with a story, Leopoldo? Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Can we hear it then? This is a story all about Tallulah the Toucan. Tallulah was always up early and every morning she would do exactly the same things. First, she'd croak a cracking good croak. Crocky, crocky, croak! Then she'd preen her silky soft feathers. <laughs> and finally, she'd pick a pretty red flower. Now Tallulah was ready for a busy day. Hi, oh, hello, Adam. Hello, Jazz. Hello, Leopoldo. What are you making today, Tallulah? It's a surprise. Why don't you come back tomorrow when the surprise is ready? Come on, let's play Jumping in the Jungle. Yeah! See you tomorrow, Tallulah. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Tallulah was busy all day long. And when night fell, she covered the surprise with a blanket of leaves. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. I hope my friends will like the surprise. <sighs> But the next morning, crocky crack. <laughs> Just as Tallulah was about to pick a pretty red flower, oh, my flower! Oh no! What am I going to do without my red flower? Today will be a disaster. Tallulah decided to hide in her nest. Croaky crow. Tallulah! Oh. Huh? I'm not coming out today. But what about the surprise? Croaky crow. What's the matter, Tallulah? Are you not feeling well? Oh. I haven't got a red flower. Never mind. You look almost as nice without your red flower. Come on. Let's go and see this surprise. No, no, no. I can't possibly go without my red flower. I suppose we could go looking for a flower. Mm. Mm. So that's what we did. Crokey crow. Just pick the one you like best. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you don't understand. Only a red flower will do. Oh. Okay, she's just being silly now. Uh, the seed of the red jingle jangle flower. We can grow a flower for Tallulah. Now we wait. But Jazz didn't feel like waiting. Maybe we should just shake Tallulah out of her tree. Uh, Jazz, why don't you and Leopoldo go for a dip in the river while I wait for the seed to grow? All right. Yes! A dip in the river. Why not? Come on, Leopoldo. Now only Adam was left with Tallulah. Ooh! Oh! Tallulah? Tallulah? Why won't you come out without your red flower? Toucans never go out without their flower. 
Oh. Armadillos never climb trees. Really? Never? If I climb your tree, will you come out without your red flower? Mm. OK. Meanwhile... Jazz? I'm only having a teeny tiny little beak. You know that's not fair. Jazz! <laughs> Tallulah didn't think Adam would manage to climb her tree. But then, Adam had a clever idea. of hairdo isn't such a bad idea. We all need to get used to changes every now and then. Yes. <laughs> but one thing never changes. What's that? After story time comes bedtime. Oh. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Leopoldo. And thank you for the story. <sighs> the puffins of Mossy Bay. I'm Thomas. I'm Sharon. I'm Lewis. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Yay! Oh, 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 oh Jamie. Jamie. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Jamie, the littlest puffin. Hey, Lucy, is it true you live next to the zoo? Yes. And is it true that you go to school? <laughs> yes. And that you can ride a, a, a bicycle? Yes, <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> Told you so. I have a question too. Do you ever suck your thumb? Well, I do sometimes, when I'm really tired. I used to suck this feather all the time, but not anymore. Really? Tell Lucy your story, Jamie. Oh, OK then. It was a beautiful day on Mossy Bay. And her two moustache was having a nap on his favourite rock. Ah, oui. 
sound, see, silence. That's the life for me. Cheeky puffins. <laughs> Where are you going to, Puffin Thomas? I'm not Thomas. I'm Lewis, and I'm going to play Jumping Waves. See you later, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> uh, too much noise. Oh, <laughs> come on, Jamie. Come on, Lewis. Let's jump waves. Oh, here comes a big one. I wasn't very good at jumping waves. It's your feather, Jamie. You can't suck a feather and jump waves at the same time. But I like sucking my feather. Well, you're not a baby anymore. That's right, Jamie. Isn't it time you stopped sucking that feather? Well, maybe. But I don't know how to stop. I have an idea. Now you can't suck your feather any longer. Sharon tied some seaweed around my beak. Let's play Leap Puffin! Yeah! Woo! Yay! Woohoo! Your turn, Jamie. Wait! Oh. 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 Jamie! Sorry. I have a better idea. This starfish won't slip off. Let's play. Yeah! The starfish trick Whoa. worked, but it wasn't much fun for me. Oh, yeah. Yay! Wasn't much fun for the starfish either. Then it was time for lunch. You can take the starfish off while you eat your lunch, Jamie. Let's play football. <laughs> Jamie, where's the starfish? Oh, I lost it. Oh, oh Jamie. Jamie. You can't be the goalie sucking your feather. You'll just have to stand on the side and watch us play. Good afternoon, Puffin Lewis. Hi, Mr. Mustache. I'm not Lewis. Uh, you must be Puffin Thomas then. No, I'm not Thomas either. Puffin Sharon? Not Sharon. I'm Jamie, the littlest Puffin, the one who always sucks a feather. Oh, <laughs> you know, I used to bite my nails like this. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. You don't look that little to me, Puffin Jamie. I wonder if you could climb all the way to the top of Mossy Bay. Oh, of course I can. That's easy peasy. I have never been to the top of Mossy Bay. Never? Never. It's not easy for a Wilrus, you know. I could tell you that, Mr. Moustache. That's not a bad idea at all. So I helped her kill Moustache. It was a long and difficult climb to the top of Mossy Bay. Come on, Hercule! Uh, whose idea was this anyway? I think it was yours. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. 
Oh. I'm sure it was your idea. You could do it, Hercule. One, two, three. Oh, no! Crabs! I do not like those creatures! Don't spot your nails, Hercule. I'll scare them away. <laughs> oh. Merci. Thank you, Jamie. Finally, we reached the top of Mossy Bay Island. The air was clear, and you could see for miles and miles and miles. What a beautiful view. Magnifique. Look! There's Thelma the Whale! Haven't you forgotten something, Jamie? Forgotten something? Forgotten? What? My feather? <laughs> Hercule was right. <laughs> I've been so busy helping him climb to the top of Mossy Bay. I'd forgotten all about sucking my feather. Down there on the beach, I can see your puffin friends. Yay! Sharon, Thomas, look! How did Hercule Moustache get up there? I had some help. <laughs> it's Jamie. Hey, Jamie, have you been sucking your feather? No, I haven't. But Hercule has been biting his nails. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky puffins. <laughs> Since that day, I have never, ever sucked my feather again. Never, never ever, Jamie? Well, almost never. I only suck my feather when I'm very tired. Like you, Lucy. I'm not tired. Really. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Lucy. Good night, Jamie. And Lewis, and Sharon, and Thomas. Sleep tight! Monkeys. Did you bring something to eat? <laughs> Here, try. Oh, but that's not something to eat. Well, I think the colour really suits you, Boris. Silly Boris, it's not for you either. It's my new swimming costume. I'm starting swimming lessons tomorrow. Look, there's more. A towel? And a swimming cap. <laughs> <laughs> and best of all, armbands. Will you blow them up, please, Nelson? At your service, madam. <laughs> well, what do you think? Very nice. Stripey. Just like Ronald's armbands. Do you mean Ronald the Rhino? Oh, yes. Ronald the Rhino had swimming lessons, too. But why don't you tell Lucy the story, Nelson? <coughs> All right. Uh, very well. <coughs> <laughs> it was the rainy season in Africa, and all the animals were bored. For weeks they had been waiting for the rain to stop. It wasn't much fun. Herbert, Pitty. stop making those noises. But I'm only pretending to be a raindrop. What else is there to do? A 
Stop bickering, you two. Look, the rain has stopped. Oh, so it has. Yippee, no more rain. Look over there, a rainbow. At the end of the rainbow, a seed will fall. From the seed, a tree will grow. In the wind, the fruit will swing. What kind of fruit, Georgina? Is it watermelons? No, not watermelons. Rainbow fruit. Rainbow fruit? Never heard of it. It's only the yummiest fruit ever. That's what my grandma used to say. What are we waiting for? Let's go and shake that tree! <laughs> <laughs> And so the animals got ready for an expedition to the end of the rainbow. The animals marched and marched. <laughs> the end of the rainbow was far away. Must be nearly there. Oh no! The Zambam River is swollen! It must be because of all that rain. We can't wade across. Well, in that case, let's swim across instead. Oh. What did he say? Ronald says he can't swim. Can't swim? What should we do now? I have an idea. Look over there, Ronald. <gasps> Boulders. Ronald the Rhino built a bridge across the Zambam River. And sturdy. That should do. Oh dear. I've an idea too. I will dig a tunnel under the river for Ronald. <laughs> Wrong direction. Oh dear, oops, again. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, sorry. Oh no. I have a far better idea. Let's drink the river empty. <laughs> Here, take a straw. Oh, I just hope this works. Ready, everyone? On the count of three. One. Two, three. <laughs> Don't give up, Nelson. Keep going. Go, Go Nelson. Go, Nelson. Go, Nelson. Sorry. Well, any more clever ideas? Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like I'll never get to the other side. I might as well go home. Wait, Ronald! Look! Over there! The Tick-Tick bird had the cleverest idea of all. There! Nice and snug. 
How do you like your swim belt? Oh, Tick Tick, you're the best. Well, here goes. You can do it, Ronald. I did it. I did it. Let's go to the end of the rainbow. To the end of the rainbow. But what about Herbert? Oh, don't worry about him. Warthogs always pop up in good time. Finally, the animals arrived at the end of the rainbow. Rainbow fruit! Lunch. Told you so. <laughs> Not here, Herbert. I know a nice picnic spot near the river. Oh, it's not fair. The perfect picnic spot. You can choose first, Herbert. Mm. <coughs> More delicious even than watermelon. <laughs> I have a yellow one. <laughs> and purple for me. Would you like to share with Tick Tick, Ronald? Ronald? Tick Tick? Look, over there. It's Ronald's swim belt. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. Keep going, Ronald. And now, Rhino Puzzle. You're doing great. Ronald the Rhino had learned to swim without his swim belt, and he felt very, very proud. Practice makes perfect. I'm so excited about my first swimming lesson. Wait until they see me do the rhino paddle. But now it's time for bed, Lucy. Aww. <laughs> Get your swim bag. Thank you, Boris. Good night. Good night, Lucy. Sweet dreams. Hello, everybody. Hi, Lucy. To show you all. What is it? What is it? Ta da! Ooh! It's a seashell from the seashore. I've never been to the sea. Neither have we. We should have a story about the seashore. That's a great idea. Does anyone know one? Uh. No, we don't. Ah! Oh. Uh, no. Sorry. Oh dear. So no one knows the story about the seashore? I do. My name is Connor and I've lived by the sea all of my life. Now, oh, is everybody ready for my story? Oh, yes. yes. One morning on Marcy Bay, the puffins were playing football. <laughs> Over here, Sharon. <laughs> oh, good tackle, Jamie. <laughs> Don't be foolish. The sea is too rough, and you are just a young puffin, not strong enough to fly out there. But do not worry, my puffin friends. If you are patient, then the ball will return. Silly Mr. Mustache. 
How can the ball come back on its own? <laughs> it will return. Be patient. Eh, the young ones. So much to learn. Now, where was I? Ah, oui. My thank you letter to Auntie. She loves poetry, but uh, I'm no poet. Huh. Dear Aunt Louise, the weather here, it freezes. Oh. No, no. Why is it so hard to find the rhyme? Uh, the next morning, the puffins woke up early and hurried down to the beach to look for their ball. <laughs> Nothing here. Oh. Oh, uh, nothing in the rock pool. <gasps> A seashell. Oh, it's really pretty. Who left Sharon the presents? She must have a secret admirer. <laughs> I wish they'd left her a ball instead. <laughs> the next day, there was still no sign of the Puffin's ball. Nothing. Hey, look, another present. We can make a seesaw. This time, it was Jamie who had been left a present. Leaving us this treasure on the beach. We have to find out. I know. Let's ask Gunner. He sees everything from up there. Hey, Gunner! Someone keeps leaving us treasure on the beach, and we want to know who. Can you help us, please? I flew up to take a look, but there was no one to be seen across Mossy Bay and not a single footprint in the sand. It was a mystery. Hey, it's raining. No, it's not. <laughs> Look, it's down in the way. The puffins asked Selma if she knew anyone who might leave treasure on the beach. Oh, no, my dears, but I will keep my eyes open for you. Thelma sailed right around the island, but she didn't see anyone. There was no one left to ask except... Hercule Moustache! He knows everything! Yeah, but I won't be asking him. No, me. He's far too grumpy. So why don't we play a game to decide who asks? OK! okay. We each pick a piece of seaweed. The one who picks the shortest piece has to go and ask Mr Moustache. Moustache was still trying to write a poem. Thank you, Auntie, for the lovely muffin. It was as light as a... I will never think of a word to rhyme with muffin. Mr. Moustache? Aha! Puffin! The muffin as light as a puffin! <laughs> Come closer, little puffin. How may I help you? Jamie told Hercule all about the treasure on the beach. I know exactly how we can solve this mystery of yours, my little friend. It's a clear night. You will surely see who leaves the treasure on the beach, but you must stay awake. I know. Let's sing a song. We go puffin' here, we go puffin' there. Here a puffin', there a puffin', everywhere a puffin'. Sing along, Mr. Moustache. Give me some moonlight. 
Guerrilla Fish. The little ones are too tired to stay awake. <laughs> Oh. It is time to see who brings the treasure to Mossy Bay. But there's nobody there. Our football? That's our football? Yay! But I don't understand. How has it come back? The tide has brought your football back. And all the other treasures. What is the tide, Mr. Moustache? the sea and her mysterious ways. Every day, the tide comes in, and every day, the tide goes out. Sometimes, the waves collect things from the beach. Oh, like how a ball. Mais oui. And sometimes, they leave things behind. Like the seashell and a piece of wood. Exactly. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> I said your ball would come back if you were... Oh! Patient. See you later, little friends. <laughs> and that, landlubbers, is the end of my seashore story. Thank you very much, Gunner. That was lovely. I wish we lived by the beach. Yes! We could all go exploring for treasure. Ah, but you're lucky. You've got the best treasure of all. What's that? I know. We're lucky because we have lots and lots of stories. Exactly, Molly. But it's too late for any more stories tonight, Lucy. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Good night, Lucy. Lucy, what's that? It's a torch. Oh, it's very bright. Yes, well, I keep it by my bed. Why do you keep a torch by your bed, Lucy? To look under my bed. Under your bed? Yes, I have to check that there are no monsters under my bed. Monsters under the bed? <laughs> uh, dear Lucy, I'm sure there are no monsters under your bed. Let me tell you a story. Ah! Jazz the Jaguar thought he was fierce and brave. Jaguars are scared of nothing. There's someone behind you. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna fall for that old one? No way, Jose. Die! Caramba! Leopoldo, where did you come from? Hi, Mr. Scaredy Cat. I'm not scared. You surprise me, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's scary? Listen to this. Once upon a time, a great big monster with pink spots. With pink spots? Lived in the middle of a dark forest. A forest like the one behind us? Oh. Yes, just like this one. When the monster was hungry, it made a terrible noise. And it ate boulders for its supper. Boulders for supper? Oh, now that's scary. Oh. One day, the monster came out of the forest, opened his great big mouth, and... The monster, it's coming! Hide! It's Adam, the armadillo. Hi, Taco. Hi, Adam. Did you see the monster in the forest? What monster? <coughs> hmm? Oh, hello, Jazz. <coughs> oh, that's a nasty cough you got there, Jazz. You should drink a nice hot cup of cocoa and go to bed. I'm going to see my friend Annie in the forest. Oh. 
forest is a scary place, my friend. You're too small to be out on your own. The monster might catch you. Oh, I'm not scared of monsters. Well, I'd better be off. Annie will be waiting for me. Bye! Is there really a monster in the forest? No, but little Adam doesn't know that. <laughs> We're gonna scare his pants off. <laughs> I have a secret plan. He has a secret plan. Leopoldo, Jazz and Taco decided to go into the darkest, creepiest part of the forest and frighten Adam. Oh, I don't like it here. It's too dark. It, it, it's too quiet. It's too noisy. <laughs> quiet. Adam's coming. <laughs> right. You know what to do. Let's go. Taco dropped things on Adam to frighten him. But Adam wasn't scared. Hey, these are bongo nuts. Mm, my favorite. Leopoldo made a trail of monster footprints to frighten Adam. But Adam still wasn't scared. Oh. Hey, I wonder who made these footprints. Well, there's only one way to find out. Leopoldo! Adam! Fancy meeting you here! Yes, well, I... What are you doing on those stilts? I'm falling off them! Oh, ouch! Well, I must be going. My friend Annie will be wondering where I am. Oh, Adam's not scared of anything. He's only a little armadillo. He must be scared of something. I'm gonna scare him out of his armadillo pants. Jazz decided to set a trap for Adam. The little armadillo is walking through the forest. He is chased by the big rock. He says, oh no, a big rock. He runs through the forest. Then he sees the cactus monster. He says, oh no, I am very scared. And he steps back and he falls in the mud and he gets hit by the fruit. Boy, will he be scared. <laughs> but Jazz's trap went off too soon. I get chased by a big out rock, and then I slip in the oh in the mud, and then ow the cactus falls on me. Oh, were you scared? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, like I told you before, we're not scared of nothing. Well, now that you're all here, would you like to meet my friend Annie? She should be around here somewhere. Annie. Wait here, I'll go and find her. Well, my friends, if we can't scare Adam, we can scare his little friend. 
Uh, what's your name? Annie? Yes, we'll scare his friend Annie instead. Did someone mention my name? It's the monster! <laughs> Oh, where have Jazz Leopold and Taco gone? Do you think they were scared of little me? <laughs> 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 Anyone be scared of Annie? She was so gentle. You can be scared of things if you don't know what they are. But when you do know, they're not frightening anymore. You're right, Nelson. Well, I better go to bed. Uh -huh. The monster under my bed will be getting lonely. <laughs> 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 <laughs>